Y'all don't even want to know what just happened, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So here I am recording, trying to get all excited about a game that I'm looking forward to, right? Guess what? Mike muted the whole entire goddamn on time. How that happened? I don't even know. But what up, y'all? Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take a look at Star Wars Outlaws. First, we're going to take a look at the teaser trailer that had came out during the Summer Games Fest. And then we're going to go and take a look at the information as well as like, I think it was a couple of gameplay drops that came out for the game on the Ubisoft Forward. Now, this game is scheduled to come out on August 30th. I'm looking forward to it. It's kind of crazy that Ubisoft decided to have this this game dropped two weeks after Black Myth Wukong. Like they think people ain't gonna be stuck in a goddamn going frenzy for the next month after that game drop is, is insane to me. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into it. This is the Star Wars Outlaws official teaser trailer. Dang, stab that man right in the back. Let's raise the stakes, shall we? Work in progress does not represent final quality capture cinematics. Game capture and cinematics. All right. It looks good though. Like that part looks real good. It reminds me of some Uncharted type stuff. We should get moving. And that one right there seemed like a nice little cutscene melee sequence. See, I'm digging it. I'm, I'm having a blast. But you know who's not having a blast? The people that downvoted the crap out of this drink like, God dang. <laughs> this is Star Wars Outlaws official gameplay showcase from the Ubisoft Forward. Now, this was something that I wasn't able to watch during the day, but I'm able to hit it now, you know? We works during the day. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Hey, new record. What kind of arcade game is that? the top where it should be trash <laughs> let's go next <laughs> let me stop hello everyone i'm matthias carlson game director at massive entertainment what up matthias today we'll show you a different type of adventure and sound like a game director name too systems we will come across many opportunities for scouts squabbling in the back all right, in Star Wars Outlaws, one of your motivations for exploration is to find elusive experts scattered across the galaxy. Okay. These experts will help Kay pick up new skills to survive in the underworld. So they're like trainers? Here, we're looking for a gunslinger who can teach us some new tricks. Our okay. intel points to the Mos Eisley Cantina on Tatooine. So let's head back to our ship. Again, We're you're picking up in Acre Station. Your game is coming out August 30th. A remnant of the Clone Wars. It used to be. Please do not station, watch dogs. Now acts as a trade hub for illegal contraband. For those of you that were around during that time, it's you know what I mean. It's a great place to resupply. But then again, Watch Dogs wasn't a bad game. It just. Merchants are often. It's like the OG the fable. It wasn't they what was promised. A special deal if you're in good standing with them. This kind of business attracts all kinds of shipyackers, contract brokers, and corrupt officials. Need your name cleared from the wanted list. It's like Ubisoft as a company as a whole has become Peter Peter Molyneux. Your ship, the Trailblazer, <laughs> is a refined EML 850, the last of its kind. On board, you'll find everything you need to finalize your preparations. Okay. Like they got legendary, a legendary name, but a terrible track record. Hey, Andy. And some legendary games made. Let's not get it twisted. Okay, that looked nice. Each planet has its own system for you to explore, and many opportunities to make a few credits, which you can choose to engage with or not. Nah, we clapping all on. Oh, and you can squabble? We got dog fights. But, 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 but how good it looked, though. Turret activated 
the side. The side. One down. I don't know why part of me felt like it spent Uber five. Like, I don't know, like, maybe it's the HUD for it or something. Maybe it's how it looks, but it, it don't. And you can tell Gorak he owes K Vess a ship. Like, it don't space, look like the dog fights that was like in Lego Star Wars or. With syndicates. What's another drink that this come to mind? Dog fight allowed us to improve our reputation with the Pikes. Star Wars oh, Battlefront 2. And the other Star Wars drink, uh, the, the VR touch. drink. Squadrons or something like that? Like those look to act like like it it looked active. That didn't look active. Tatooine space, edge of the galaxy. The tattoo system is in the clutches of the hot cartel. Our reputation with them is poor, so we best be on our way. I don't even know what you best be on your way from. There's a part of me that I want to rewind and see if I miss something, but I don't know. Good seamless load loading screen. I respect it. Welcome to legendary Mos Eisley. The infamous hive of scum and villainy. could head straight to our destination or explore what the city has to offer recreating this iconic city is a dream come true for our team okay allowing us to show parts of Mos Eisley you've never seen before I'm a I'm a I'm a afraid that I'm about to say this hey yo beyond good and evil fans you know those of y'all that's rocking with me those that of us that want Jay back like that's it. <laughs> Y'all remember that Beyond Good and Evil tech demo we got a while back? <laughs> That's this now. <laughs> I'm just peeping it. I'm realizing like all the tech that they used in that get that like showcase is in this game now. This is it. This is what we get now. Room for one more. There are many opportunities for So if you're wondering why I'm rooting for it, that's why. In with the hot cartel. Most of Tatooine's economy is under their control, even though the increased imperial presence has been hurting their business. But first, we need to pick up the trail of our expert gunslinger. The best place to start is the cantina. I think the one thing that I kind of... We learn of a pirate who is deadly with the blaster. My bad for pausing again. I think the one thing that I really dislike about the way they showcase games as well is... Why aren't you ever playing the game like how the player would play the game? I don't get it. I don't understand it. Like you're walking around, like you're moving your, your, your thumbstick like this, like at the slightest of the slightest of the slightest of the slightest of an inch. And you're just moving it like that. I mean, centimeter, whatever you want to call it or whatever geometric system, I said geometric, metric system that your, your, your place work with, right? They're moving it ever so slightly. Like the player is just going to have their character walk around and be like, ooh, ah, yeah, no, we don't care. We're going to be sprinting everywhere. <laughs> and who used to work for the hot cartel? Our intel leads to one of their storehouses located in the southern hills it would have been nice to see how like she got one to the bike traveling to your destination rather be than doing itself. the white transition see how she got on to the bike as you move across scorching dunes and dusty valleys you'll quickly realize that this lawless desert planet still holds many mysteries that actually looks good though scenery looks fantastic we reached our destination we need to locate our storehouse and find our way into this heavily guarded fortress without triggering the alarm. I don't know why there's a part of me that's... It's believing and it's not believing as well. Because we've seen, we seen them use this mechanic before. Like, they've used this mechanic in uh, 
Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands and Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Break Breakpoint, I think. So we've seen them use that use that mechanic before. They just changed the skin of it, or changed how it looks. All right, maybe there's a data pad or something that can tell me who that old gunslinger is. But for the most part, like the com computational back end of it is still the same. The only difference is the graphical front end or the presentation layer of it. Okay, so I was right. That's a quick time event. That actually looked pretty good. That was solid. Solid animation. I, I'm, I'm digging it. Okay. Okay, what else? Next. Do you sense so I'm going to let you notice now. I'm not moving like this. I'm shooting everything. Okay, good. Good. Thank you. Oh, okay. Never mind. You're a bum. I was about to say, that's good. The AI actually can hear action that's, that's going on behind them. They won't just stay in front of their, their cone of view. That's a pretty cool lockpick. All right. Okay. Wait, Quint. Nice that little lockpick mini game. I don't think I've seen that before. Okay, okay. I should talk to her. Oh come on! Yes. But we now know where to find our gunslinger. Let's get out of here. Nah, squabble, squabble. I like that. I like that. I like that. I, 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 I mean, I know he a droid, but some kind of feedback. That's crazy how she shot that thing in front of her and that bullet just ricocheted back into her body. Oh, good kick. You do not take damage like that. I will say I'm a fan of the hood. It seems very simplistic, but yet stylish at the same time. My bad, y'all. I, I know I said I wasn't going to rewind. What did the Pillsbury Fudge just happen right there? We need a My bad. What just happened? Come on, Nick. what it is some seem off about that to me because like she called the bike the bike was right there but she was also being chased by other people but it didn't seem like a cut scene but then when she soon as she got on the bike it transitioned to a cut scene to let her out so then i think my 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 thought process would be well why not call the bike as soon as you spot the people or as soon as the people spot you and you shooting at them you call the bike, the bike comes in, you take the bike, and then you take off. So, I don't know. I don't know. That kind of feels staged to me. Like, that, the whole entire sequence, like, they created this specifically for this demo. I don't know how I feel about that. Or it may be a case that you plot a place that you want to go, or there's a place in mind that you will go when you get on the bike, and it takes you to that spot. I don't know. It, it seems odd. You again. If you're still looking for Haas, I haven't seen him. Actually, I'm here for you. I heard you're the best shot on the planet. Oh, and you want to be second best. Now is not a good time. The huts are coming and I need to get ready. Get your blaster out. What we have just shown you is the beginning of one of the many adventures you can go on in Star Wars Outlaws. Whether you want to learn new blaster skills, upgrade oh, your Oh, I like that data. Okay. 
Never mind, then I'm off. I'm off then. I'm off then. The stealth attacks, I don't see how that would take out a Mandalorian, but. Alright. Or at least get through the Mandalorian suit, I think. I'm keeping hope alive. I'm keeping hope alive. I, I'm not gonna be a naysayer. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm keeping hope alive. There was some iffy things there that, that kind of almost made me go, mm, I don't know about that Ubisoft, but I'm gonna keep hope alive. Y'all really not feeling this game at all, huh? Well, we're on the Star Wars Outlaws official game overview trailer. Let's see what this is about. Okay, I was about to say that that look odd. Me Toshua. Welcome to the first ever open world Star Wars game. Set in the dangerous golden age of the underworld. I think that's my thing too. Not everything needs Let's to be open stage, world. Some things actually work better in a linear okay. setting you or in a pseudo KFS. open world setting. A scoundrel looking to start a new life. I saw her name is K Best. K gets pulled into a plan that will change everything. I believe if you follow the plan, no one gets like hurt. Like Jay Urso or something like that. She won't do it alone. From Rogue One. From childhood, K and Nix have been inseparable partners. You're welcome. Helping each other every step of the way. That's disrespectful. Right, you ain't have to up advance. that man's soul out his body like that. Using their criminal skills and tools. No, 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 no. Go back. Using their No, no, no. Go back. All right. Distract him next. Using Okay, let's look. Okay, so what button you think that is? Ubisoft like to get fancy with this. So, if I had to if I had to guess, right? Like if I go by, let's say Watch Dogs, Ubisoft probably got it set to like L1, and then you hit a face button for which you want to bring out. So a smoke bomb. Well, if that's that's an Xbox One controller. So if I pick this up, so left bumper X or Y, and it'll go like that. All right, I right, got it. Or A. All right, okay, okay, I see, I see. Using their criminal skills and tools. Don't look too bad. All right, that's adorable. <laughs> you gonna lie, that's Kay adorable. We'll have to constantly adapt to every scenario. Next, you want to drop that? Jay played dead. That is the most useful ally I've ever seen in a video game. That's crazy. Whoa. Way more useful than Cha-Cha and Karamba. You'll get me out of here. As your versatility grows, gain access to new skills and more lucrative contracts. There she is. Look fun. Look fun. A friend needs a little something stolen. And in but so far, world, I haven't really seen anything like really try to bust her. Walk out of here. I'm gonna finish it. Shame. And a reputation is everything. Where is he? The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward, and more attention you'll receive from some of the most notorious syndicates of the galaxy. And how did you think it was going to end? Tell the governor the payments will not increase. Don't worry, I I, I peep I peep what just happened right there. Uh oh, what y'all want me to rewind it back and show y'all? Okay, hold up, yeah, yeah, yeah. For 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 those in the back who didn't see, pay attention very closely. The bigger the risk, the bigger the reward, and more attention you'll receive from some of the most so, notorious syndicates right of the galaxy. Here. And how did you think it was going to end? You see that? Did you did you spot it? Did you spot it? Yeah. That's called frame drops. Frame drops. Tell the governor the payments <laughs> will not increase. It's up to you where your loyalties lie. Hey, Nick. Being wanted by the Empire brings a new That's crazy because that was during a cutscene, too. This is getting bad. Right. So, as your ex 
exploits grow, beware of who you cross. Hang on. And I'm chalking up like the way the game Scatter looks to the, the video compression as well, as well as buttons, what happened over there. What happened when like the game hitched? Traverse the lush jungle world. Actually, it's hitching the when she's riding in that open world. The dangerous savanna moon of Tashara. <laughs> Or roam the lawless planet of Tatooine. When it's time to move, Pilot K's trailblazer to transition from planet to planet. MD, fire up the hyperdrive. Ready to jump. Oh no. Once you land, I think I'm gonna have to play the, the space combat myself. Because looking at it, it don't look fun. I, I I will say that. Looking at it, it don't look fun. And that's coming from playing like a bunch of other Star Wars games that have like the space dog fights. Explore and infiltrate parts of the galaxy you never thought possible. There are opportunities I mean, so far I haven't really seen a Star Wars game do better than to defy the odds. I mean, it ain't, it's sad, but it ain't sad to take I, I mean, I'm getting the game either way, but I think the game has a ton of potential. Granted, it comes out in August. We're about two months out from its release. No, we're, we're two months away from it going gold, I would say, because normally games go gold two weeks before they come out. And then in most cases in that post-production process, there's a lot of bug fixing, a lot of things going on to make it suitable or have a day one patch. 